Well, but it, it, it dovetails to the ending question, which was that Molly had felt that uh, if Robert Downey Jr., the guy she liked, had been cast, oh. she would have been fine with the uh, with the original ending. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, oh, the, oh, the, the, oh, the change oh, for she's Emma. She's just a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she was young. She didn't know. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert in this oh, film. Oh, yes. Blaine, a.k.a. the major appliance, <laughs> winds up with Andy. I'm sorry, I just destroyed the... So wait, that was that Molly had creative control. Uh, yes and no. She did actually, because partially because John Hughes was so attentive to the actors and so wanted their input that that did have. But we actually shot the original ending. Um, it, would you like a, me to walk you through? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, you see, but this is going to ruin the, now the end of the movie. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. was uh, Ducky showed, you know, the same, they have the, the montage of her building the dress and, uh, you know, welder's torch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have that and, uh, and, you know, we're, uh, you know, I'm at home alone and Blaine's at home alone and Spader's smoking some dope. <laughs> uh, uh, then we, we get to the prom, I show up, um, she walks in with me and Andrew McCarthy is there but refuses to sort of acknowledge her, um, so she and I... Because Blaine is inherently a dick. I don't know if anybody yeah. else... <laughs> yeah. so, so she and I sort of timidly, the, of course, the whole room stops, because the second the non-cool people walk into the prom, as everybody knows, And so we walk into the center of the room, and, uh, and start to dance, and the DJ puts on David Bowie's Heroes, and we oh, we oh, dance, oh. we spin, and become a beautiful blur of pink <laughs> <laughs> and, and blue, I guess, considering my jacket was blue. So, um, but when we, so that was the original ending, you know, and obviously Blaine looks on, you know, sort of like, oh, what, I fucked up my life. <laughs> I'm a mess from now on. Um, and uh, when they, we shot that ending. Um, but Molly was ill that day. Molly uh, was uh, Molly had was uh, recovering from a stomach uh, uh, flu, so she was not feeling great. Plus, apparently, she's into Robert Downey Jr. Uh, so that's a sickness anyway. Exactly. <laughs> that's not going to end well. So, so when we actually shot the scene, she seemed kind of half-hearted, um, and and we did the spinning dance thing, and she actually collapsed in my arms because she was so sick, and I was spinning. If you don't spin somebody, who has somebody. it's just not wise. Uh, so at any rate, we, we had to stop shooting about two-thirds of the way through the day and never quite got all the coverage of all the aghast prom goers as, oh, you know, they're breaking social convention, you know? Uh, so we never, quite, um, we never quite shot it the way that we wanted to. And so then, when they cut it together, it did lack a certain oomph. I mean, I did see one of the, the original screenings, uh, not, it wasn't a test screening, but they just showed me the movie with the original ending. And I could see why, you know, you do invest in the Blaine, uh, uh, you know, in the cross uh, class relationship. A I'm not bit. invest in it. Okay, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was like so against it in every way. Like, I at any rate, they, they tested it with test audiences, and, and uh, at the time, Andrew McCarthy was considered a sex symbol. I just want to take you back <laughs> to a different era. <laughs> Julia is, is really into Andrew McCarthy, and we argue this point on an embarrassing, really frequent basis. Probably every couple of days we talk about Andrew McCarthy, and you, you think he's incredibly hot. Julia, just get out. <laughs> Up to this moment, we have been friends. Everything now. worked out. Okay. <laughs> it's all over. Um, at any rate, uh, uh, but I don't wish to disparage the man. Uh, at any rate, uh, so they, they, we got this call. I was working on another movie, and I got this call. We got to fly you back to L.A. and reshoot the ending. And I sort of, you know, I, I have to say I saw it coming. Um, but I didn't know the reason then. I only know the reason now because they did interviews with us now, and that's where Molly revealed that, oh no, I really wanted Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> 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 
she said it too. <laughs> Okay, um, so then you you get to sort of they gave you the consolation prize of Christy Swanson at the end of the movie, yeah, and, and you you sort of break the fourth wall yeah. when you like me uh, moi uh, is it moi yeah. yeah and like so was that was that an acting choice or was it <laughs> uh, that that was a joke I did to the director because because we, we just thought I thought it was ridiculous uh, you know and and Christy Swanson is lovely and it was a beautiful lady. And, but I, I just like, come on, you know, find, all of a sudden, you know, I've been to high school the whole time, it's not like, you know, I was invisible. Um, um, I, you know, I think the idea was, I look so great now, in my tux with my little bolo tie, and, and, and everything has changed. I think that's what they were going for, but I just thought, I don't know that they're going to buy this. And I did it as a joke to Howie, and Howie said, you know what, it's funny. I it's think kind I'm of shocked. awesome. <laughs> so... Um, but anyway, but I didn't think they would use that. Uh, um, uh, and I, I don't know how much I want to ruin the ending for you guys because, okay, there's one other thing. My favorite thing is when we hold hands at one point, the camera goes down and we hold hands and it's just a close-up of our hands. That's not my hand. That is our second AD's hand. Um, and you'll notice it because it's like this wizened claw. <laughs> Second stunt hands movie we watched. You guys were here for Labyrinth. Yeah. Like juggling, yeah. Oh, okay, was that uh, who uh, was it? David Bowie, this yeah. character who's juggling? Who's juggling? Yeah, you know David. I don't know if you've seen Labyrinth, but there's oh, I yeah. love that we're discussing Labyrinth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> David Bowie is doing like this sort of like lateral yeah. juggling move that was hit for like 30 seconds in the 80s, uh -huh. and like and the hands are so clearly they're just emerging from his armpit. <laughs> There was there was cool juggling in the eighties. <laughs> 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 oh, the eighties. Those crocket and tubs. <laughs>